So what is the best handheld microphone for doing interviews and even doing videos at live events, especially when it's really noisy? I'm gonna review my top three for every budget. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV. Help you go further, faster in media. On this channel, we do video gear reviews, lighting reviews, and audio tip videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during this video, check out links and show notes in the YouTube description. I list out all the different mics and accessories that I talk about in this video, as well as some other bonus resources. So check those out at any time. Let's get into the video. So I've been doing video for a long time and actually finding good handheld mics and solutions is pretty tough. You know, they can be super expensive. If you buy the lower end stuff, it's not very good. And so I wanna cover like three of, in my opinion, the best solutions that range in price a lot. Number one is this wireless Sennheiser solution. So this has been my go-to solution for years now. And you've got the RE50B mic. This is a SKP 100 G2. I think the G3, uh, you know, threes or fours are out now. But basically it's nice because it's a wireless handheld mic and the mic is insane for cutting out noise, cutting out, you know, you could do it, you could be in a very loud environment like a conference and just capture the uh, you and the person that you're interviewing or just you operating as like a journalist kind of newscaster role. And it works with wireless packs and you can do, uh, it comes with like an XLR and you can plug this into an external audio recorder and it also comes with an eighth inch to eighth inch so you can plug it directly in to the DSLR. So check out this example of what it sounds like if you were to just plug it directly into your DSLR from the pack with the wireless mic. So here is an example of the RE50B with the wireless Sennheiser solution. And this thing is pretty rad, man. You can kind of go anywhere. This is plugged directly in to the Canon 70D right now. And so this is what this mic sounds like. And so here's also an example of an interview being done with two of these mics. The audio is being captured into an external audio recorder, the Zoom H4n. And this was at an event called Vlogger Fair. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Video Influencers and we're at Vlogger Fair and I'm here with Shay Carl doing all kinds of cool stuff from his channel to his clothing company, Trixin. How's it going? Awesome. We have a very cool, I'm excited about the B-roll shot over here. B-roll. Cut to this. What's up, B-roll? They uh, brought me into this cool industrial area with the uh, space needle, the shadow in the background, and uh, having a good time. So those mics are incredible. They have worked really great for me over the years, and I literally have been using them for years, but some of the downsides are really two things. One, they are super, super expensive. I actually bought the kit, so I got some lapel mics, receivers, I got the full kit, and it was a couple thousand thousand dollars. Now, depending on where you're at, it has been worth it because I had a video production company and that was my main focus. And literally, I think I've been using these since 2009, right? So they've really lasted. They're super solid. Um, but the it can be a deal breaker price-wise. If you were just to buy the receiver and the mic and the transistor, you're still looking at probably approaching almost $1,000. And so that's something to consider. We have some cheaper options coming up. But then the other thing is that sometimes wireless can be a pain. And if you go to a live event, you know, if somebody was to come into your frequency, um, you may, might lose your audio. Like wireless, if you don't have a good connection, it just sometimes could be sketchy. And we've had that happen where, um, you know, who knows, like a plane flies over, a truck drives by, or just for whatever reason. One thing for sure, never cheap out on wireless. Like it's not worth finding the best budget wireless solution. You want it to be good, but that's something to consider as well. The second option is to actually pick up one of these cables and use it with any XLR mic that does not require phantom power. And so what this cable is, is the SES-TR-153, and it's from Sescom, and this thing is amazing. Um, a mistake that people could make is if you're like, hey, I've got this you know, XLR mic, and I just wanna plug it straight into my DSLR, so I'm gonna get a XLR to eighth inch cable off Amazon. It's probably not gonna work. This one is actually custom made so that it picks up right on your camera and it works. And so you can pick up one of these cables for I believe around $35 and um, you can look up to see the latest prices in the description below. But then all you gotta do is just plug it into a mic. This is the Rode Reporter. You could plug it into one of those Sennheisers I was already using or you could probably just shop around for 
really any mic that again, does not require phantom power, and then plug it straight into your DSLR and you're good to go. The cable is 10 foot, so now this solution is phenomenal for live events, and check out uh, a clip of what this mic would sound like just plugged in with this cable straight into the camera. This is the SES-TR150 cable and a Rode reporter mic. This is plugged directly into the camera. Now, one of the things that we had to do is turn up the audio gain on the 70D. We use manual settings, and what we try to do is have it as low as possible, because sometimes the 70D has kind of a hiss and like almost an airy noise if you have it turned up. So it's at about 50%. So that's what this mic sounds like, and man, this cable is super cool. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this, but it's now one of my favorite things that I have in my kit because it's versatile and just keep, keeps things simple and they work. So what's cool about this is again, you could shop around for mics and this is a pretty affordable option. And because it's wired, you don't have to worry again about the wireless problems, right? So if you take this to a live event, you're not gonna get static, you're not gonna get interference, you're not gonna have trouble finding channels. It makes things super simple and super, super dependable. And again, this cable is super special, designed exactly to work with a DSLR and an XLR mic and to eliminate hiss and buzz and do really super clean audio straight into the camera. The third option that I really love and use a lot is not only a good price, but it's actually pretty cool and very versatile. And that's actually using a Zoom H1 handy recorder as a, an interview mic or as a handheld mic. Uh, you could interview somebody else like this or just be, again, on camera like a journalist. Now, these run for about $100 in the US or less. And it's great because um, you can just hit record and record the audio directly onto the device itself. And so you're able to monitor it with headphones. You know, in those first two cases, you're actually not really gonna be monitoring your audio because it's just plugged directly into your DSLR unless you have a headphone jack out like the ADD or something with Canon or some new camera. You know, you're not monitoring your audio. So you get the level set, you test it, but then you kinda gotta trust it. This is nice because you could test it with the headphones throughout your shoot and you can adjust the gain and there's a lot of different settings on it and whatnot. The challenge with it though is that the audio is recorded separately. So then what you have to do is go into editing and sync up the audio between this and the video file that you created. And one tip is you know, when you're on a shoot, just do a clap between the mic on the camera and on this and then start your recording during that time. So another thing that I like about the Zoom H1 is that it's super light, it's super portable, and so you could even combine this with like a point and shoot camera, right? You could, sometimes I will go out with just a Canon G7X and this mic and I know I'm ready to do interviews with like this in one pocket and the G7X in the other pocket. You could set up, you got some pretty good video quality, you both get on camera, and then you have somebody to interview. With So with those two tools and using this, it's very versatile. And I like it, uh, even at NAB recently, which was a huge event, this is what we used because I didn't wanna carry around the heavy Sennheiser gear with the receivers and the different things, even though we had a team. And sometimes um, I'll use a Zoom H4n, which you could plug in two mics and you have two handheld mics going and then you can monitor your audio. And it's great, but again, it's a little more complex. And so I feel like this is one of the, a super cool solution that keeps it super simple and allows you to interview people um, or just talk straight into the mic and then just sync it up later and create great results. So check out this quick clip that was actually from an interview that we did with this mic. So in this video, I talk with Sunny Leonard Doozy about Snapchat tips, how to get your videos found in search and her A strategy. Coming up, question of the day. What mics do you use for handheld mics or for doing interviews? Post that in the comments below. And remember, some of the best tips and recommendations and hacks comes from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's a guide where I actually go over all the different lighting and cameras and lenses and things that I recommend for every different budget. So if you want to grab that for free, I'll link it up on the YouTube card and put it in the description below. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with the, okay, weird arm cross, okay. Done, all right, thumbnails, let's do thumbnails while we're here. And we are going and we are live. Oh my goodness.